Welcome back, family. Here we are on new comic book day and Bad Batch day and Mandalorian day and day of all days of March 1st. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah, I actually got up at 2.30 this morning to watch Mandalorian. God bless you. <laughs> yep, and I did. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I was up as soon as it started at 3 o'clock, watched it. Got about 45 minutes into the editing. My editing software crapped. And if I had not saved, had to restart from scratch. Oh. You're laughing because you've had to deal with this before. I finally finished at like 6.10, hit upload, and had to you know, drive like a maniac to work. Clock in at 6.59 to start at 7. Thank goodness. Because with everything that's going on lately with my arms, I had no sick time or, you know, no leeway. You know, at being late, I'd get points. Hmm. And all, all of our... All my hard work has so far after 14 hours gotten 17 views. I'm looking at it right now. 17 views, 7 likes, which is a good ratio. And one comment, which was somebody saying, hey, I'll watch this later. <laughs> and Tiago, thank you. So <laughs> um, it, I've done some communication with other people and there have it's been... This is a common problem they're having on YouTube. YouTube is only promoting the popular channels now. If you have millions of, of subscribers, they'll promote you. If you have a thousand subscribers, you, you, your videos don't pop up at all in the recommended views. So, uh, unless uh, we do something crazy and go viral with something, uh, it's, it's not going to pan out so as far as that. Don't panic. We're not stopping the channel. We're just going to change gears a little bit, and we are no longer, as of right now, going to be doing reaction videos. Uh, we thought that it would be a nice way to try to spread into the MCU, the DCEU, Mandalorian, stuff like that, and gain extra subscribers. But it's an awful lot of work. It's an awful lot of lost sleep for both of us. More Greg than me, because honestly, he's the editor, he's the computer guy. Um... And to get 17 views is, it's very disheartening. So we're going to switch and go back to our original format of being a comic book channel. We're talking about new comic books. We're going to talk about comic book rumors, stuff that we don't have to spend hours and hours and hours editing and try to match scenes and make sure you don't get copyright strikes. Get up, get up uh, and three. <laughs> yeah. We will still be doing watch alongs yes. on Patreon. So it'll be for Patreon only. And by doing that, we can watch them at our leisure, at our pace. We don't have to get up at three in the morning. We can watch Mandalorian on Thursday <laughs> and make sure it's up for so our, our Patreon people to watch it together with us, maybe on the weekend at their leisure. You know, and that's the whole idea. But we'll still be doing comics, the back issue book club. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, Remember me picks. Mm -hmm. Any breaking news, we'll try to hop on and talk about it. That kind of yeah. stuff. So unboxings and, and yeah, oh, definitely unboxings. <laughs> um, and any cool books that we order and come in, we'll clearly share with you. So getting back to basics, and hopefully we'll have a lot less stress and enjoy the channel ourselves a lot more, which hopefully will translate into more entertaining viewing for you. Yes. That being said, <laughs> it's new comic book day. <laughs> New comic book day. Uh, before we get before we get into showing what we got, we got to show what who's taking these away. Yes, I'm ready. Ooh -hoo. So we have blue book number one, cover A. I think that's yep. cover A. Cool. And local man. Just like I said, this is the one that you're going to send your kids to college with because it says it's a first can't miss issue. It is guaranteeing that this is going to make money. Only image and bad idea are bold enough to do something like this. That's crazy <laughs> enough. It just might work. <laughs> so how many comments did we have on last new comment? We had 10. Double yep. digits. Okie dokie. All right. So I'm going to change to the screen. You can't see it, but everybody else can. I always feel left out I during know. this. I know. Sorry. It's okay. And here we go. North America. North America. Stinker buns. Stinker buns. Hey, one of our Patreon members. Congratulations. Did you say, wait, All right. congratulations. Is that what I heard? 
I thought I said congratulations. Either way, it works. Well, yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Grats. Okay, Grats. You happy? Congo rats. Nice. <laughs> uh, dude, say, even though you're on the Patreon, you still, the same rules apply to every single person. Guys, just shoot me a message on Patreon, on Instagram. Let me know that you saw this video and that your address is still the same. Because I know you've won before. If not, then, oh my God. What the heck? <laughs> dude. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. And you stick around as we get through our books. We'll show what we're giving away this week for next week's winning. Say goodbye. Congrats. Congrats. Fan grats. Whatever you want. <laughs> now you got me conscious. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, it's cool. Remember, I'm the one that everybody can tell the pace by how fast I, I know. speak. I <clears> know. <throat> I almost was like, oh, do I speak too slowly? I don't know. I think, honestly, and I admit this. I kind of dominate the conversation and I apologize. I don't mean to. It just, once my mouth starts going, I can't shut up. It's fair. <laughs> I, I, uh, I do this a lot and I gather my thoughts as I speak. So it leaves a vacuum. I feel like for you to, yeah. Oh, in. fuck. There you did. You did it again. No, I'm kidding. Gotcha. Uh, no. And I don't think before I speak, which is why you have so much fun editing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so I am ready to match books with you. We'll see how match we go. Wits. All right. So first up, oh God. I, I'm just like I'm just switching it, uh, separating the companies. I have one DC, and I have one image, and the rest is Marvel. Yeah, this is, um, I had the most Marvel of this week for me. So, um, starting with Marvel, Cosmic Ghost Rider number one. Cover A. Was it the cover yes. A? Yep. Uh -huh. I've got high hopes for this one because I really like the author, Stephanie Phillips. She's the one that writes Grimm. And she also is writing the Harley Quinn series, which has been actually surprisingly good. Oh, cool. Yeah. I saw the cover B and I liked it, but uh, funds were a little limited this week. So. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And if something's going to blow up, 99 times out of 100 it's going to be that cover A anyway so yeah but the B really did look good though oh, now you got me ha 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 gotta make you look it up you're not editing I'm still going to make you type something <laughs> I know right cosmic <laughs> ghost writer it's like a close up of him inside that bubble helm <laughs> oh was it the knock headshot yeah it's one of the only ones I like. Actually, kind of am okay with. There it is. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a knock headshot kind of guy, but that one. That one works. Good. Yeah. Yep. Dude, it's gone to second printing already. Wow. Well, we got first. Yeah, so there's, there's a lot of cool uh, covers. Because I was at Syndicate Comics. Oh man, they have a uh, <laughs> a Punisher homage. Punisher one hmm. limited series, where he's like. Shoot it, shooting like oh, this. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Getting on with our books. Yes. So, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Next up was Ghost Rider 12 of the regular Ghost Rider series for me. There you go. Look how badass that is. That is nice, yeah. Um, supposedly, let's see, what was the deal here? Uh, final page cameo of Dan Ketch as Weapon X. Ooh, ooh. So. Uh, too bad I missed that one. I bet you that's going to go quick. Who knows? But if that's going to be a first cameo appearance, and the next issue will be full, full full appearance. Yeah. And then there'll be another thing that people will argue about. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, <laughs> next up is Hallow's Eve, number one. Was it... Which cover was it? Was it it was cover one? A. Yeah. Yay! We we match such a matches, match. matchismo. Uh, first solo series featuring Hallow's Eve. There you go. But ding. Uh, and that's it for Marvel for me. Do you have any more Marvel? Oh, oh uh, yeah, I got one, two, three, four. So again, if one of these is from last week, I apologize. It was on the new new wall, and I didn't see it last oh. week. So I got I am Iron Man. Yep, that's one. this week. 
I got, let's see, if this was the cover A, I got one cover A and one variant, Peter Gwen Shadow Clones. Mm hmm. And I really liked this cover. It was an homage to other Spider Gwens. <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah, the original one of that is so yeah. expensive. Yep. <laughs> and last Marvel I got was Spider Man Unforgiven, and I got one of the variants. Oh, I don't even know that one. Uh, they took out some books from 2016 and put it up on the new new release wall, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's I'll be listening. I'll be listening to "Unforgiven" by uh, Metallica. I know, as I'm that, that's it. all I could think about when I, <laughs> when I saw that. But I didn't want to get a copyright strike by singing it perfectly. Yeah, well, I don't think either one of us would have to worry about singing it perfectly. And they call um, me unforgiven. Spire, uh, all night, every day. They had that at the store, but that was a really awkward sized magazine. I'm like, dang. <laughs> Oh, all night and every day. Yeah, that's a yeah. It's like what do you call it? The um, prestige format. Yeah, well, the the sh size of it was the annoying format to me. I so. agree with you. I think prestige format. <laughs> uh, all right. Next up for me is image. Image. Yes. New book by Jeff oh, Lemire, one. Phantom Road, number one. Yep. Cover. Yay! There you go. Cover A. <laughs> boom, boom. Uh, you know, he's had a handful of things optioned, and it's Image, yep. which tends to get options sometimes. So, yep. number one, Lemire. Well, Lemire did, um, what's the... Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth, yep. And he has a, he has a lot that have been optioned, like Descender, yes. Ascender. That's uh, all I can... Did you say Ascender? Ew. No, I said Ascender, Descender. Gotcha. Sorry, escalator. This escalator. Yeah, exactly. Escalator. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then the next for me uh, was uh, Radiant Black Twenty Two. Ah, cool. That's right. You you are in the Radiant Verse. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. Super Massive Verse or whichever it's called. I think they call it just the Massive Verse. Massive Verse. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I I had a hand in putting out exclusive books for Radiant Pink, and I don't even know what the <laughs> name of the universe is called. I am such a bad rep representative for that uh, that's all right. genre. I'm sorry. I'm it's, sorry. It's I quite all right. It. So that's it for me for, for Image. What about you? That's it for me. I only got the one book. Okay. Uh, and then next up, I had a book from, believe it or not, Dynamite. Oh, okay. So this is either horror or boobs. Neither. <gasps> Isn't that like their their mainstays? Though? Yes. <laughs> Is it horrible boobs? No. Okay, I had to double check there. <laughs> Unless you want to call someone like, "Oh, you're such a boob," like in that regard. Oh no! There it is. The Darkwing Duck, number one. Oh. Uh, facsimile. Oh, you're showing everybody, but not me. Yeah, because I don't I don't have the here. I can show you what everybody sees that way. Oh. I like that. The, the facsimile? Yeah, I like that, that cover. It looks nice. I can't not show this. It looks so familiar. Except this is the real deal, baby. Nice, very nice. 1991. Boom. You know, it doesn't sound that old until you start doing the math and realize that that was 32 years ago. <laughs> I know. Jeez. It's wild, right? Oh, what the hell? 1991 was 32 years ago. Half the people that go into the store were born after that book. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. So, that's it for me this week. I only had one other book, and it's actually a DC book. Ooh. And I have no idea whatsoever. It's just that the, the cover... Just, I looked at it and it just like it reminded me of like Department of Truth. That's the one I told you in advance and you helped me look it up. We got World's Finest number 11 second printing. So, so are you are you familiar with the White Stripes, the band? The band. You heard of them? The white, no. 
I remember the uh, in uh, there was a gum that had stripes in it. But... Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, there was an extremely like multi platinum band called White Stripes for a long time. Uh, it was just a guitarist and a drummer. The guitarist was Jack White. And then he went on to be in like the Red Contours, and now he's like a solo artist. But he designed the cover for this. Okie dokie. So if I see him in a signing event, this is what I bring. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> I do. Well, I don't know. What can I tell you? Um, I, I mean, it's like you, you mentioned the guy, and it's like, uh, well, he's in on one, he went on to this band, and he did this. I'm like, I didn't hear that. I never heard of that. Never heard of that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so old. Is it? Is it? Did he open for Neil Diamond? I can almost guarantee you've heard one of their songs. Their their one song, Seven Nation Army," was like in every arena. Bum 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 bum. Yep. Okay. Bum, bum. Yeah, that was White Stripes. Okay. I saw the listen, come on me back. Wait, there's words to it? I only remember the. Yeah. So I was cleaning up some stuff that, you know, when you're sick and you're ill, you kind of let stuff pile up. Yes. And eventually you have to start, like, getting through these mounds of, I'll take care of this later. <laughs> and as I was going through, I found a plastic bag with apparently a uh, new comic book day purchase from a few weeks ago. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wasn't just a few. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, if I have to take the time to enter these into um, cover price, cover price, you have to pay attention to what I actually got. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> so this one, I was really, really look. Oh wait, I got the receipt in here. It's got the date. Purchased on February eighth. Now I know how old long ago it was. <laughs> All right. So we have the Fantastic Four. That's a, actually Spider Man, if I'm not mistaken. The, um, the oh. Mickey Mouse. Yeah. The Disney. Uh, um, version of Fantastic Four number one. I don't remember what the legacy number of the Spider Man is, but I really like that one. Uh, I got the, it's got foil in the name. I don't know if they call this a foil or not, but it is Gargoyles number one. Very nice. Based on the price, I'd say this is a one in 20. One in 20. Uh, since I can never afford the actual, and I, if I just want to sit down and read it, the uh, <laughs> <laughs> facsimile of Kang's first appearance. <laughs> that Gargoyles was a, a, a facsimile of the original. Okay. But it still was the foil, yeah. Okay. Um, this one I, uh, I think is the 1 in 25. Amazing Spider-Man number... 19 legacy 913 and him and black cat on the cover cool now the spider-man number 19 this is a different variant this was a regular variant is the no prize variant huh what is that all about ha <laughs> i'm glad you asked so there used to be a thing back when I was a kid, <laughs> back before most of you were born. In the editor's column, uh, Stanley usually answered most of the letters. Uh, they would people would be issued no prizes, which is basically a prize, but you really didn't earn, win anything other than having your name listed in a comic book. And it was when you found an error in continuity in something in the story and you can write in and explain hey this is wrong because back in this issue it happened here blah, blah 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 at which point they would double check and then you'd see the little article a couple months later in the editorial of the back of the comic book back in the 70s and 80s and whatnot and it said congratulations you won a no prize you're right we're wrong 
So just in case you thought that the, the people that were nitpicking details are new because of YouTube, no, we've been around a long time. I'm telling you, <laughs> long time. Long. Careful. I am telling you a long time. That's a cool, that's a fun so got, uh, variant. And I think they actually had a couple of comic books that they called uh, No Prize as well. Nice. So I did get, I, and again, I have been ill. I don't remember even ordering these. But apparently I bought three copies of this. DC Universe Lazarus Planet Next Evolution One Shot Number One. Oh. Oh, and I've people geez. like, you got wow, why? You got why three? Did... That's what I said. I ordered three of them. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I did get three copies <coughs> of a Marvel book. Red Goblin, number one. Ah, uh, I'm tired of all these goblins, huh? That's what she said. <laughs> well, it depends. I mean, if you're playing Magic the Gathering and you have a goblin deck. That's true. And there was a variance, which I also did. <laughs> so, four goblins, if you think about it. So, yeah, I have a lot of entries to make into um, cover price. And this is actually one of those times where you can, within a couple of weeks, go, why don't I buy three copies of that? <laughs> what was I thinking? I don't even know. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, so there's uh, what do you call it? Times when you you can look back a month or two months or six months later. I'm like a week later. So anytime somebody's like, "Wow, Rich and Greg, they always pick the great comic books to own." No, we don't. <laughs> no, 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 we don't. No. Sometimes we we buy, you know, um, like ten copies of. Canto number one, the the, the second the, the second storyline, not the first one. <laughs> yeah, I think it's still worth cover price. So anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's okay, it's all good. Because I mean, for every time I do that, I well, for every ten times I do that, <laughs> for every twenty times I do that, I I do strike gold with certain things. So I'm I'm happy. Good. Um, I I enjoy my collection. Sometimes I'll sit back and go. Damn, I'm. I, I don't want. I think I'm going to change my mind and not be a dealer. Just keep them <laughs> forever. To have them burned and cremated with me. Ooh, noxious fumes. No, I'm kidding. Yes, so, uh, only from the uh, Newton rings. <laughs> so, I am going to list the books that we have for this week's giveaway. Oh. So I had a hard time finding two independents that I thought were worthwhile. So uh, I did get, I grabbed one extra copy of the Marvel Hollow's Eve. Okay. And since I did pre-order it in advance, I was able to have The Phantom Road by Jeff Lemire. Oh, you guys. So these will be this week's giveaway nice and easy make sure you are a subscriber to the channel make sure that you clicked like on this video you've been watching all this time you must have liked it somewhat a little bit just give it a thumbs up and drop a comment down below because we use a random comment generator please this is open to north america only um i will be discussing something with greg about how what we can do for people Outside of North America, because, again, to spend $40 to ship $8 worth of books is kind of count counterproductive. But we don't want to discount the people. Discount? That didn't sound right. We don't want to not count the people that don't live within North America. We want to say thank you to all fans, even if you are on the International Space Station. Oh. <laughs> so, have you anything else to add, sir? No, just uh, don't forget to check us out uh, on Patreon, patreon.com slash Team Ohana, where you, uh, we're figuring out right now, actually, uh, when we're going to do our virtual meet and greet to, to hang out and talk comics and anything else. Um, yeah, I think next Saturday. This Saturday looks like it's going to be counterproductive for people, but maybe next Saturday we can all get together as Patreon members. Well, yeah, yeah. So if you'd like to join us, you still time. 
between now and next Saturday to join our Patreon. Yeah. And uh, there you're going to start finding our exclusive watch-alongs, uh, no longer on YouTube. Um, and uh, Bonus picks for the... Uh, uh, remember uh, me? Remember me's? Yep. yep. Uh, Which are only available to Patreon. Don't, if you're on Patreon, don't you be spreading these out to other people. <laughs> they didn't earn it. They did not earn it. Also, you get the, the podcast a day early and mm-hmm. whatever else the things we can think of to put up there. So, By the way, I that short that you played about how you fast edit the... Uh... Je- Alvin and the Chipmunks? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I listened to that thing like five oh, did times. You? <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> yeah. It's the best when we laugh because it sounds like that sound effect that you... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Well, I can't do it without being sped up. All right, so we're going to wrap this up so we can get into our um, recording our watch along for The Bad Batch, which, again, where will that be? On Patreon. <laughs> so, all right, so guys, thank you so much. Uh, make sure that you click like and subscribe. Click on those notifications, and don't forget to share the videos with other people that you think might benefit from free comic books. Always a great thing. Yes, until we see you... <laughs> In the next video, though, mahalo. The way the fist. Yes.